quite a few people have discussed the idea of potential step aside money for Usyk if Tyson wins and getting that fight with Tyson and Anthony Joshua that everyone wants to see. Could that be a realistic possibility? And there's talk of a Wembley card in September as well, be perfect for it. That's up to if Usyk loses, that's going to be up to him because he has the right to call for a rematch. Frank, um, His Excellency on the phone after uh, come across, kind of showed his personality more than ever before. I thought. He did, didn't he? Do you enjoy seeing that? Because obviously you see him behind closed doors and we got a glimpse of that today. He's a good, fun guy and he's got a good personality. He, he's, he's a, he's, he loves his boxing, which, which for me is, is great because that's what I love as well. And, uh, and you know, he's the catalyst for making lots and lots of things happen in, in, in Riyadh and we'll be... We'll be um, expanding on that this year as well. Would you agree with what he said, the biggest fight of all time? It's the biggest fight of this century. It's the biggest fight of all time. It, financially, it's the biggest fight of all time. And as far as this century is concerned, it's the first time the heavyweight division, the four belts have ever been on the, online. And for that to happen, makes it the biggest fight this century. It's a huge fight, huge fight. Frank, what would you rather happen next? Would you rather the USIC rematch or would you rather the AJ fight at Wembley? I'd rather he gets the fight out of the way on the 18th first and we see where we go from there. You're giving me nothing here, Frank. Sorry? You're giving me nothing. I've just told you, let's get that fight out of the way. I mean, you want to go, you want to, got lots to sort out it's hard it's been hard enough getting this one on so let's get this one out of the way and and that's what matters people want to see this fight this is the fight this is the two undefeated fights fighters you know as much as the joshua fights there at the end of the day this is the fellow that beat joshua not once twice so it's a, on paper it's a much better bigger fight how different of a tyson fury do you think we will see in comparison to the Ngannou fight, obviously he's going to have a massive fire lit under him to, to prove any doubt is wrong. Well, you know, you can't turn back the clock. What happened in the Ngannou fight happened. He had an off night, but he's such a good fighter. He can have an off night and still win a fight. And that's not many fights can do that. It's gone, it's dusted and done. Maybe uh, Usyk might feel he's seen something there that can give him something to work on in, in the ring against Tyson. We'll see, but... Um, that's yesterday. It's what counts now is on the 18th. John Fury said that he believed that Usyk could hurt Tyson at some point in the fight and believed there would be a late stoppage. Do you agree that Usyk has the capabilities to hurt Tyson? Yeah, he's a big man. He's a heavyweight. He's punches. He, he's a good puncher. Of course he can. Hurt you. Any heavyweight, you get caught with a big shot. These guys, you know, catch you in the right way, catch you on the chin or on top of the head, whatever, it can hurt you. And it can do that. that that's that's the dangerous uh, and, and Tyson, I'm sure, is more aware of that than any, anyone. And the other side of the coin is if Tyson catches him right, he'll go. Frank, any news on the 5v5? Are we going to get a, a line-up soon? There's a big, there's a lot of news, just a bit of an exclusive here for everybody. There's a press conference next week. <laughs> uh, Frank, His Excellency also said on the phone that he wants Tyson to fight kind of up to 10 more times. That must be music to your ears, but... Look, it's, oh, go on. It's, it's, it's great. I mean, you know, that's that's how much of a... How much, uh, his Excellency feels that Tyson, you know, brings to, to, to boxing and certainly to the Riyadh season. And if Tyson is fit and well and can fight 10 times and you heard him himself, he will do it. And, and whatever he wants to do, I'm, I'm all for that. He's not got miles on the clock. It's not like he's been having sort of four or five fights a year. He's not. He's had a little bit of inactivity, I think. You know, the, the Nagano fight will be, what, his first fight in, what, nearly <coughs> two years, 18 months, two years? That's a long time. You, this might sound like a crazy question, Frank, but do you think Tyson could ever fight in the UK again with how much shout he's influencing boxing? You never know. You never know. It's not a crazy question. Who would ever thought we was going to be in Saudi? Exactly. You know, this time last year. Anything. There's been talk of a UK version of the five versus five card. His Excellency has said they'd be interested in that. Could that be something that you're interested in as well? We will see what happens with one thing at a time. There will be a show this year in the UK. There will be a big show. What the format is, yeah, is to be decided. Frank, what do you make of Carl Fletcher's latest comments about yourself and his excellence? Well, I just think it's moronic. I think it's disrespectful to people and their cultures. And, uh, but that's not what you expect from a plank of wood like him. Frank, if you could steal one match room and one boxer fire, who would you steal? Who would I steal? One match room fire, one box room fire. Um, that's a hard one. Ben Whitaker? That's a hard one. But then I'd have to be replacing somebody that we got to do that. Mm. So I'm cool where I'm at.
Really? Yeah. You're not going to steal Joshua, no? No, because Tyson Fury's with us. Exactly. And so, he, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, we are working on shows together now, so we are working with... with what do you make of the sort of beef between uh, Eddie and Ben Shalom? It's sort of nice to just sit Who? back. Eddie and Ben Shalom. It's sort of nice to just sit I, back and I, watch I, them I, I, I'm pleased I'm not involved. It's <laughs> nice to be on the outside looking in and watching these guys saying what they've got to say. Have you had What's this fun? over? This is over. It's over the match from we're saying that boxer don't want to fight any other fighters. They've retrieved from a few first bids. Obviously, Isaac Chamberlain's just pulled out of first bids to fight Jeff Carter. Oh, he pulled out? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm well. And also, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Let them work it out. Have you had any difficulties with boxer in that sense and getting fights made? No, uh, no I've got to be. Uh, uh, the only thing I can say is, is that we making the fight with AJ. We did agree terms. Sorry, not AJ. With um, Anthony Yard, we did agree terms for the uh, fight with um, uh, Joshua Whitesy. Frank, can I ask you what happens in the five v five if someone gets an injury? Are there fights in or fighters in the background ready to take a spot, or do other fights get made? We, so we will see what happens. We'll see what happens because that depends what weight. It, if God forbid that happens, it depends what weight it is. I spoke to Usyk and relayed an apology that was given from Joshua to Klitschko, via, well, via Klitschko to Usyk um, for taking the microphone after the second fight. Was, was that something you felt that maybe needed an apology in that moment? No, I think I think he got caught up in the moment, and I think you know, maybe at the time the people who were working with him in the corner should have took the mic off him or you know helped him. But it was, I don't think anyone, excuse me, who cares anymore? Who remembers stuff like that? It's gone, isn't it? It's done and dusted. You're asking me just now, when's he fighting Tyson? That's how much anybody cares about that. It's gone. You, yes. made, you made comments. Um about Usyk potentially being well, being a crybaby to body shots, and well, for for that, I think you've said beforehand. But can you just clarify the judging situation? Are you looking to put in specific well, judges? We, we, to the rules meeting is going to be there's going to be a lot of, lots to be said at the rules meeting, and we just all we want is a very very strong referee who applies the rules correctly, and before the fight gives his instructions with a lot of clarity as to what. The, the areas are for shots, and also he's you know he's not going to be in, being overwhelmed by the, the occasion of such a, a fight of this magnitude. And judges who are competent. Do you put forward a recommendation for referees? Do so either side gets no, to put that forward? No, no, it's up for them to put forward uh, a, a list of names, and it's up to them to the both teams then to to look at them and hopefully agree. Mutually agree on um, on uh, who the officials are going to be. Frank, do you have any plans to work with Francis Ngannou again? And if you could pick the next fight from him boxing, who would it be and why? I haven't thought of that, to be quite honest. And uh, I don't know what he wants to do. But it's, we, as you know, we've got a lot of heavyweights on our roster. So let's see what happens. Him versus Zang or Wilder, it'd be a great fan-friendly fight, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it would be. I'm sure it would be. Frank, just uh, one prediction for a fight that's happening on April 20th in the US, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney Good was fight. out in Riyadh uh, a couple of fights ago, but just talk to me about that one. How does that fight play out? I think it's a tough fight. Is he, how is he now, Ryan? It's, the fight seems to be going ahead. Yeah, I know that, but how is he? That's not... Uh, you know, not Provided sure. he's mentally okay and you know for the fight and whatever, it's a, it's a tough fight. I mean, it depends what Ryan Garcia shows up at the moment. Should the fight go ahead, Frank? I'll, I'll lean to Garcia. It's a new age bit of promotion because if he's not well, then fight maybe shouldn't go ahead. But if he is well, then he's kind of yeah. off of the back of mental health problems promoting the fight, which is like, leaves us in a bit of a weird situation, doesn't it? It, it, it is, but, you know, obviously, uh, look, first of all, it's, it's not going to be even up to him whether he's fight. I mean, there's, there's, you know, the commission concerned with the fight will obviously want to make sure that he is. Mm. And, now I'm, I'm, and I don't think nobody's going to let him in the ring if it, unless he's right. If they care about it, that is. Canelo versus Munguia. Thoughts on that fight? Uh, is it done now? Maybe. Yeah. Mostly done now. I don't know. I mean, I think Can I've got a fancy Canelo, but I think Canelo is there to be. T is you know he's he's not going to be there much longer, in my opinion. How long do you think he's got left? How many fights? Well, you know, we're, we're seeing the next. You know, in, in the next few fights, but it, that could be a, an interesting fight. Frank, when do you think it might be the right time for Tyson to retire? When his heart's no longer in it or if his physical prowess is, is diminishing. Yeah. And, he, and, and he'd be the first one to know. 
in this business, what happens with boxers is they they always say they're the last to know, but actually they're the first to know and the last to admit it. And the people around him, he's got a family around him, certainly us. If I felt that he was gone, I would tell him. Okay.